Intrapreneur. This is an area that I love uh, because this is the role that I personally am in right now as a chief nudger. I actually work for the government and inside that role I try to find ways to change and grow and um, implement creative ideas. And so it, an intrapreneur is someone that is an entrepreneur within a formal organization. So it would be, in my case, full-time salaried employee or a contractor supporting a large company, nonprofit or not-for-profit or corporation or government employee. So anyone that's an employee of some sort, um, there are a lot of strengths to being an entrepreneur, right? Because you are in-house, you, ha you have the training and benefits provided for you, um, you don't need to spend your time marketing yourself daily, um, not in the sense of trying to get more business. Your time is spent maybe marketing your idea, but it's not spent trying to um, increase your bottom line because you typically have some kind of salary and maybe some kind of uh, performance uh, structure where you might get some kind of bonus. The weaknesses to this is no matter how great your idea is, you're still within the confines of an organization. So your salary and your commission, there's going to be caps on it, right? Because you have to stay in the low, mid, or high point ranges of whatever salary range they've put you in. And um, some weaknesses can be that you can be in high-touch environments where they want to see you all the time. And maybe your personality dictates that you want more freedom and flexibility. Um, some of the weaknesses are you might have specific number of vacation days. Um, and, you know, that's also a benefit, right? Because that's, um, it's great to even have vacation days because entrepreneurs don't get paid on their vacation days unless they have a product that's being purchased while they're not working. Um, in the case of an organization, you must learn to work with all the people, like it or not. Whereas an entrepreneur, you could technically decide which clients you don't want, but in an organization, you have to work with people, which, by the way, grows other talents. Um, one of the weaknesses is you can become part of organizational think and can exhibit, um, that can inhibit growth and innovation. So that's kind of like the group think, right? You have to be careful that you take the time to go off by yourself and uh, work on some of the, your innovative ideas uh, because you can become part of this large machine that thinks a certain way and acts a certain way. The opportunities are great within. Um, you can be promoted. Your organization might have multiple locations if you're interested in moving to a different spot. Um, you can gain credibility and recognition within the organization. Um, but like anything else, you know, you are still working for the man. So the threats are that you could be laid off or your benefits cut um, or your salaries capped, um, regardless of what you're doing innovating. Um, the golden handcuffs, you know, often you have to wait a certain period of time until your 401k um, is fully vested before you can go anywhere. And maybe you can't get promoted, uh, especially in environments such as these. Um, a lot of companies just say, okay, you got to just do what you're doing and we're, we're not promoting anybody no matter what they do. Um, th this is still a great area, though, because you have the flexibility within a safe environment to try a few things and to... Uh, not be completely at risk like you would be as a full-on entrepreneur. And so I would recommend that anyone that is a full-time salaried employee think of themselves as an entrepreneur um, and try to move forward ideas uh, along the way because it does keep the job interesting. And you, at the end of the day, you really do want to love what you do. It isn't all about the money, but that's a whole other conversation.